I feel like having these tips would have boosted my confidence earlier on in my business because um, these are gems. These are keys to starting your business. Hey, YouTube family. It's your girl, Naomi LeClaire. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure to like the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to tap that notification bell so whenever I come out with a video, you guys will be the first to see it and first to be able to get on and just go ahead and watch it. To my family who has already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. Like, you guys are just amazing. I appreciate all of your support and because you guys support me, I'm going to support you and just give right back, okay? So so let's get into it. These are gems. These are keys to starting your business. So really, I'm going to tell you guys where you guys can sell every weekend consistently. Um, I want to show you how to do that. Maybe not specifically this video where I want to go in depth, in depth, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. Um, and I'll definitely make another video. Just make sure to comment down below if you guys would like to see that. And I'm also going to tell you what specific stores that you guys need to like go to and shop at you know to get your product this tip right here we all know um and heard of flea markets right but how many of us think oh yeah i actually need to set up shop and go and sell my product out there go set up shop at your flea markets at your local flea markets my mentor told me about it and i as i was talking to him and i was mentioning like oh yeah i have a um waste business and i sell anklets bracelets you name it and he's like, you need to go to the flea market. And literally, as soon as he said that, a light bulb went above my head. And I was just like, wow, like, I really do. And I contacted the, um, I was looking at the flea markets in my local area, tried to figure out which one was popular, most populated. And um, even if you don't go to the most popular flea market on your first attempt or whatever, figure out from other people and other vendors, because you're going to talk to people there, other people set out there, have a conversation, you know, start making those connections start networking and figuring out where it, the spot is to be in your local area okay and let me tell you um it's not that much okay so the booth that i set up i'm in georgia um the booth that i set up um each weekend it only costs 14 dollars for that day and if you sell your waist bead for 15 dollars, you would have already made your money back right or a couple of anklets, a couple of bracelets, a couple of necklaces, whatever it is that you're selling, you would have already made it back and, um, you know, the amount of how many sales that you need to cover that. So $14 is not that much for an entire day of um, having the booth. So you, my um, local flea market that I usually work at is um, open from 8 and it closes at 4.30. Yours may vary depending on where you're at. Um, it may be longer, it may be shorter, um, but... The fact is that you'll be able to have your business as a pop-up shop and people will get to know you. And a lot of women um, who buy waist beads and a lot of people in general, they want to be able to see it. They want to know who's doing it. They want to know that there's someone in their local area that's near to them that they don't have to like buy online and guesstimate and all that stuff. They want to know the business owner and that's you. That is you. That's you are... Um, the forefront in the face of your business at that point and so you know just go out there be comfortable be friendly and you'll do great okay make sure to have your business cards i've mentioned that before if you guys want to um know like a cheap way how to get your business card not using vistaprint um, if you want to use vistaprint use it but i mean certain things that i mean you could save a few bucks here and there right so if you want to know how to save a few bucks here and there just comment down below and i'll go ahead and get into that Okay, so we mentioned that we need to go, that we need to be at flea markets, okay? I mentioned that. How to do it. It's very simple. Like I said, you pay that $14, $15, $16 fee, however much, you know, your flea markets um, charges. And then um, you set up. Me personally, I have a trifold board, you know, like those ones I used to use to like for science fairs and stuff back in the day. You can use them, right? And go to... Walgreens I went to Walgreens and I printed out different pictures on my customers right that I those same pictures that I used to take and put them on Instagram and all my stories and stuff like that I took them printed them got them printed out at Walgreens 
put them on my poster board and that way when people walk past they're like seeing pictures like so many people that walk past my um my booth they always get captivated by the pictures and i also put pictures of me um wearing my waist beads also if you follow me on my instagram page shop used by nate i have already like um videotaped my booth several times so you can kind of see the setup but i'll go more into depth as i said in another video okay where to shop at to get your products now this right here these, these get your notebook get your pen okay get <laughs> This store, specifically, I'm going to talk about this one store because I love this store. Hobby Lobby. Like, I love them. I really do. I love their sales, right? I love the products that they have. Um, and I love, did I mention I love their sales? Like, every other week, it's like 50% off. And they do a great job of that because they, if you're a business owner, you don't want to spend the full 10, you know, ten dollars for a string of beads when you could pay five for it or you don't want to pay six dollars for a string of beads when you can pay three for it so make sure you go in there try to see when their 50 percent deals off because they really they truly 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 come in handy um you can get your string from there you can get um, i haven't gotten metal class from there i got my metal class from um amazon but you can get your string you can get your beads you can get just an assortment of bees. Let me tell you that. You can get men's bees, women's bees, you name it. It's your creativity. It's really what it is that your vision is. And then go to Hobby Lobby. Oh, nuts. Especially if there's a sale. I go, I'm like, I love this. I can make something with this. I need that. But, you know, at the same time, I mean, you do kind of want to stock up because that 50% is not going to be there in the next week. And if you go to the flea market that week and sell out, you know, you kind of want to re-up on your on your product. I mean, you could be making bees while you're selling. You know what I'm saying? So, just keep that in mind. I really pretty much hit on everything. I don't want to keep this too long. You know, I want to keep it short and sweet for you guys. So, you guys can take those little nuggets and keep it moving. Support Bees by Nay. Shop Bees by Nay. I'll make sure to put it right here. And, yeah, I just appreciate you guys for watching the video and taking your time out of your day. Make sure to subscribe. Your girl, Naomi LeClaire, is out. I don't know what I was doing with my fingers, like, <laughs> alright, bye, thank you. Everything you do is amazing.